Hey guys, and welcome back to Cake or Sprinkles. And here I am for the last episode of Storyline Sunday. Yep, the glasses went missing, so I'm wearing my Elvis ones instead. I got these sideburns here and everything. Of course, I'm just kidding, guys, but... You know, like, for real, the glasses have gone missing, and it's the last episode of Storyline Sunday. So, guys... Today we are here to read chapters 20, 22, and 23 of Love and Dimensions. And again, if you hadn't watched the end of my last Storyline Sunday, this is because the last episode, not episode, the last chapter is so short, it wouldn't make sense to do uh, an entire video on its own. But guys, this is the very last chapter. I am here with my handy dandy binder holding all my stories trying to get it in the camera here this is really awkward you know what here we are for chapter 22 going back and chapter 23 the memory triangle and guys if you do enjoy this please make sure to leave the comment down below saying that you did and then like and then subscribe because that's the order you do it on this channel. And with that, last episode, guys. Well, chapter of Storyline Sunday. Love and Dimensions. Chapter 22, Going Back. After a rather long moment of silence, Toothless turned over to Red and Cupcake with a grin on her face and embraced them. Hey, Tooth. Watch the horns and talons, would ya? Red laughed. Oh, yeah, sorry, Toothless Blush. Hey, I wonder if I can carry Cupcake now that I feel stronger than before. Well, I'm guessing that was all the XP you absorbed from the mob battle back in the overworld, but go ahead, Cupcake encouraged. At this, Red picked up Cupcake, Cupcake swung her around, and put Cupcake on Toothless' back, just above the wing joints. Then Toothless gave herself a running start to lift off, telling Cupcake to hang on before leaping in the, into the air. She faltered a little bit, during which Cupcake let out a short squeal, but she swiftly regained her balance, flying around the perimeter of the end island before landing back with Red. That was awesome! Can I do it again? Cupcake asked e eagerly. I'd say yes, but I'm a little tired. I'm not used to flying with that kind of weight. I kind of fly solo, literally, Toothless answered, wings drooping and loss of energy. Hey, where's Jean? Who's Jean? Cupcake asked. Jean growled to announce her presence, and Cupcake stepped underneath Toothless' swing, instantly feeling safer there. However, Toothless ran over to Jean and embraced her. Toothless whispered something in Jean's ear, spread her wings to their fullest extent, and Jean breathed ender her ender fire on Toothless' back. Then they both leaped into the air. Toothless, what are you doing? Red yelled, confused and concerned. For isn't Enderfire supposed to really hurt a player? Um, did I not mention that with the Dragonstone I am immune to Enderfire? In fact, it strengthens me, Toothless asked. I suppose I didn't from the looks on your faces. Toothless cracked again, grin, trying desperately to, to not burst out laughing. You know, if you think our faces are funny, we've got nothing on ice cream, Cupcake noted. Toothless smile disappeared, and she drifted somberly back to Earth. Well, technically Endstone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, Cupcake. You didn't mean it. Toothless acknowledged, although clearly reminded of her tragic loss. Cupcake saw this in Toothless' eyes and embraced her, Toothless kneeling to allow her to. I know how you feel, Toothless. He was my brother, and now after my parents were lost to Herobrine as well, I'm left alone. I think the only thing keeping me from breaking down right now is you, somehow. Cupcake confessed. Thanks, Cupcake. Toothless stood back up. So, Red asked, what now? They all sat silent for a moment. That's a good question, Cupcake said at last. Well, now that everything's back to normal, Toothless shared, even though it wasn't the full of what she was thinking. I'm going to go back to my home in the alternate end, and you two should probably do the same, but in the overworld, of course. Are you sure you shouldn't come? We could use you, Red pleaded. I'm sure. Jean needs me. I'm glad I got to go on this adventure, though. 
to this answered sign. We all took a moment of silence before Cupcake finally spoke. Okay, take care. You too, too. They looked around for a second. Another question. How are we getting out of here? Red asked. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll get the Elytra. Toothless rushed. You mean the wings? Why? Red questioned. The only way out of here, besides dying, is through the nether portal that ice cream built. Ah! Why does everything suddenly have to be tied to ice cream? Toothless exclaimed, voice almost breaking. Whoa, Queen Drama. We all miss him, but we'll remember him. And that's about as good as seeing him in flesh, Cupcake verified. No, it's not, but it's about as good as seeing him as we're gonna get, Toothless responded. She led the two to the portal, where she swooped in to grab her elytra, but when she came back out, Cupcake and Red were building up towards the portal. The fact is, you don't need to fly to get around the end, Red acknowledged. She then took Cupcake by the arm and tossed an ender pearl into the portal. Toothless went through the portal again, feeling kind of foolish, and led them to her home, where the portal was. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Toothless claimed. Yeah, maybe. If so, then I'm gonna miss y'all, Richard. Me too, cried Cupcake. They all settled a group hug, crying their eyes out. After they were almost done crying, Red and Cupcake depart for the nether. Well, I guess that's it then. Nothing interesting is going to happen for a while, Toothless thought. Nothing happened. Darn it! She was hoping something would happen. Cupcake quickly found the landmarks of which ice cream let set, and Red's bow kept them safe. It took them it took a lot less time for them to leave because there was a lot less passing out for them, plus Cupcake didn't have fire fever like ice cream. Getting into the fortress was a different ball game, as there were many more monsters mounting the fortress than when Toothless Ice Cream and Red had left it. But they made it out by simply going straight to the portal. Red still thought the whole double lever thing was dumb, but they made it to the overworld. I feel like it isn't completely over yet, everybody was thinking as they went their separate ways. Well, almost everybody. Red, you don't suppose that I could live with you, Cupcake asked. Yeah, I don't see why not. You do need company, now don't you? Red answered. Yay! Cupcake was very happy. Can we still do something for ice cream? Yes, in memory of him, Red replied somberly. We should tell Toothless. She'd probably be happy that his name won't go forgotten, Cupcake suggested. That's a brilliant idea. Let's go! Red grabbed Cupcake's hand and dashed back through the portal and into the alternate end. Toothless, Red and Cupcake shouted, looking for Toothless in unison. Yeah? Toothless flew into their view. Come back with us. We're going to honor ice cream back home. Really? Yes, come on. Or is something wrong? Together, they went through the nether and arrived back at Red's house. By now, the nether was simply annoying. We should do something at each of our houses. Cupcake, you or his sister will do something for you first, Toothless ordered. Red ran, and Toothless and Cupcake flew to Cupcake's house. Let's build a monument here, Cupcake suggested. They all grabbed their blocks and went to work, eventually creating a gigantic statue of him out of any materials they could get their hands on. You know, I really should do this kind of thing, these giant statues more. It just feels so good to be honoring ice cream like this, Cupcake mused, staring up at the build. I think so too, Red agreed. It's actually really sad, but enlightens the spirit, Toothless shared. Suddenly, she looked up and realized that it was growing to be nighttime. Come on, decided Red. Okay, Toothless and Cupcake walked into their into her house and s to sleep away the night. In the morning, the three girls walked outside to look at the statue. Moment of silence, Toothless requested, and silence filled their ears as if all of Minecraft here was remembering ice cream as well moment over. Toothless and Red then ran off to plant poppies by a statue slash grave, while Cupcake ran away about a hundred blocks from her house. She started building, replacing cobblestone with her plates, and occasionally some glass and quartz were thrown in. Um, where's Cupcake? asked Red after a few minutes. Here, Cupcake panted, clearly tired from sprinting. I'm here. Um, I, I, lo I lost my place. Okay, uh, you might want to see this, Toothless. 
Toothless was worried, but followed Cupcake to a beautiful home of wood, cobblestone, and quartz. Oh my goodness, Toothless breathed. Who lives here? You do, Toothless, Cupcake replied proudly. And the inside's empty, so feel free to decorate it however you like. Cupcake, you've really outdone yourself. Now, I say we get baking for our next monument, Toothless declared. Baking? Red asked. Yes, because we're going to need a lot of cake for this one, Toothless answered. After plenty of supply gathering and baking, they finally had a mass amount of cake stored in Toothless chest. Now what do we do? I came prepared for that question, and here's your answer, Toothless stated, handing Red and Cupcake blueprints of her plan, headed out to start, heading out to start. Well, now I know why we need so much cake, Red then realized, then headed out with an inventory full of cake. Cupcake grabbed the rest and followed Red out. I got the outline, but I'm out of cake. Can you guys give me some help and help fill it in? Toothless asked. Sure. Cupcake gave some of her cake to Toothless and in very little time filled Toothless' outline. Now, I want some finishing touches, so I need you, Cupcake, to go get to go get some birch wood and cut and cut and into fences. Red, I need you to get as much red wool as you can, so you need some shears. There should be some back at Cupcakes. I'm going to the I'm going to the Nether to co collect some glowstone. Ready? Break! Toothless commanded. Everybody running off their separate ways. Red ran into the forest with Cupcake, and Toothless flew through Red's portal. Toothless had no trouble defending herself from the mobs, and quickly grabbed the glowstone and got out of there. By the time she got back, her friends had already started building, as if they had read her mind. Once the fencing was done, Toothless took the wool and the glowstone, creating an alternate pattern. Toothless flew upwards, admiring the monument. Well, she breathed, that was certainly worth the wait. The monument was a giant heart filled with cake, and the perimeter was birch fences and red wool and glowstone. It glowed especially bright at night, which it was now. Toothless noticed a faint, transparent glow in a line between her and Cupcake's houses, like a weak flashlight beam shining through mist, but she didn't say anything on account of doubting herself. You know what, Red stated, we're going to finish this. Swiftly, they moved over to Red's house. Toothless, take care of the mobs while Red and I build, Cupcake commanded. Can and will do, Toothless replied. As they each carried out their respective duties, neither slowed in the face of anything. Hey guys, tell me when you're finished. Oh, I like watching you fight and fly, Cupcake complained. Well, I could get you a dragon stone. Just get struck by lightning, Toothless joked. Toothless, Cupcake warned. All right, all right, I'll stop, Toothless acquiesced reluctantly. Hey, Tooth, we're done. Take a break and look at this, Red commanded. Toothless finished off a few mobs, then turned around to see their monument, a huge pixel art cake. Whoa, that's awesome. It's beautiful. Toothless gasped, and gasped, gasped, gasped in amazement at the huge structure. It looked strikingly like the item itself and was surrounded with torches. They had a moment of silence and then went inside to sleep the rest of the night. Tifa saw the lines again, this time from Red's monument to Cupcake's and her own. She dismissed it again, but all three lines were a little brighter than before. All right. Chapter 23, last chapter, The Memory Triangle. The girls woke to an extra bright morning. They stepped outside, a little blinded from the light, and as their eyes adjusted, they found the lines grow glowing brighter than lava in a glowstone container. Did anyone see those weird lines last night? Red asked. I did, but they were faint, and I thought they were just my eyes playing tricks on me, Toothless replied, baffled. This is so cool, Cupcake exclaimed, waving her hand through it. She walked through it, and as her head passed through, she was suddenly flooded with memories of her brother. It's as if he's here, now. Who is? Red asked, concerned. Ice cream, Cupcake replied, eyes wide. A memory triangle. Toothless muttered quietly. A what? Red asked. 
A memory triangle, I said. Toothless answered, still thoroughly confused. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but okay. I don't either, but it makes sense. Guys, Cupcake said, look over there. They all turned their heads to where Cupcake was pointing and saw a glow coming from there. They all dashed over, Toothless occasionally flying Cupcake over gaps and high jumps. They all made it over in a matter of time. Toothless arose to a height, scanning the landscape. The lines connected the three memorials and the glow was in the very middle of the triangle. It is a mer- It is a memory triangle, Toothless confirmed. She dove back down to her friend and found the glow even brighter in the middle. She shielded everyone's eyes as, with her wings as the orb pulsed impossibly bright, and then it faded, leaving a familiar player in its wake. It was ice cream. So guys, we have now finished Love and Dimensions. If you enjoyed the book, please comment down below saying that you did. We worked very hard on it, about over six months doing all the chapters and final fix-ups. But guys, I really enjoy doing Storyline Sunday. It gives me a chance to tell a story, and I like doing that because this is a fully original story. But guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to check out the playlists I will leave in the description. If you are new to the channel, haven't seen these before, all the episodes are in the playlist. But guys, if you did enjoy these, please comment down below saying that you did, and then like, and then subscribe to this channel, because that's the order you do it on this channel. And I will see you next time. Cake or Sprinkles, Storyline Sunday. Peace out.